It may look low-key, but the India Meteorological Department is credited with predicting the cyclone as early as the 8th of October, giving relief agencies time to prepare. As a result, government authorities today are being commended for launching an extensive disaster management program before the cyclone hit that included moving more than 800,000 people to safer ground. It is a huge achievement for India Meteorological Department specifically and in general for the country uh, as a whole uh, because uh, as you know the cyclone kills people. And if you can have a very good early warning system, then you can provide a very good lead time for the disaster managers. The storm was the most powerful to hit India in more than a decade and has the potential to kill a lot more people than it did. Science helped. The reason that scientists were able to so accurately predict Cyclone Pylin is because there are more than 600 automated weather centers across the country. The oceans have buoys fitted with sensors, and the coastline here has a digital radar network that closely monitors weather conditions. In the calm after the storm, people in India's Odisha and Andhra Pradesh states saw the full extent of Cyclone Pai Lin's power. The storm made landfall on Saturday with winds of up to 200 kilometers an hour, destroying power and communications lines as well as many homes. We have been living in fear since yesterday morning. The tides are very high, but because officials kept us informed, we were prepared for the cyclone. I have been living here for 12 years, but have never seen the sea in such a state. But it could have been much worse. Despite the devastation, only a handful of casualties have been reported. The NDRF has done its biggest deployment for a single disaster. So far, about 2,300 people, NDRF personnel, including um, medical first responders and other technical people with heavy equipment to deal with search and rescue. A cyclone similar to Pylene killed 10,000 people just 14 years ago. The government plans to keep using advanced technology to prevent that from ever happening again. Karishma Vyas, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.